Right now, I'm really excited because I've just bought a new MacBook Pro so that I can work on ideas when I'm away from the studio. And as you can see, I'm right in the middle of installing Logic. Now there are a few things that I always do right after installing Logic on a new system to ensure that my audio, software instrument and external MIDI tracks all record and play back in proper sync with each other and that any live musicians I record are able to monitor themselves without hearing any uncomfortable signal delay in their headphones. All of this, of course, is really important for keeping your music sounding tight, so I'm a little surprised that the settings I'm about to show you don't get too much attention in Logic's own user manual. After that, we'll delve into the topic of plug-in delay, which can also play havoc with track synchronization and the monitoring of live musicians. And I'll show you some strategies that I used to compensate for this, and then some ways of working around the anomalies that these strategies themselves can cause. Now, the root cause of these issues with track synchronization and monitoring is a phenomenon called latency. And I'm hoping that by the end of this tutorial, you'll have gained enough insight and understanding into this phenomenon to troubleshoot and solve any latency based issues that you may encounter, allowing you to keep your tracks tight and your musicians happy from the beginning of a project to its completion. And of course, the same latency-based issues affect every single DAW, not just logic. So the concepts that we discuss here will be equally applicable to whichever DAW you use, even if some of the methods that I demonstrate for dealing with them may be logic-specific. So while the installer continues to work away, let's go to our next video and see if we can get a handle on what latency actually is.